Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lalita Loca, and this is Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, season two, episode one. That's right, folks. We are back with another season of Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, where we go to war weekly over the hottest topics in cruising. Jenny, welcome back to Cruise Wars. Are you ready? Are you ready to debate? I mean, I'm ready to debate, but are you ready to see all the hashtag Team Jenny? My goodness, it starts early. If you are new to Cruise Wars, this is how it works. This is a point-counterpoint debate show where we take three topics in cruising. One of us will argue for the topic and one of us will argue against the topic. And which way we argue is all decided by the fates by one of these 20-sided die. Now, the way we're going to do the topics this season is we did do a whole season of Cruise Wars, almost 40 episodes, and so we have a lot of topics from the past. So we are going to argue one topic from the headlines, from what's current this week in Cruise News. We are going to argue a classic Cruise topic. We will take a topic we've already argued, but we're going to argue it differently this time. So if Jenny argued for it, this time she's going to argue against it and vice versa. And then finally, we are going to draw a topic from the bowl. And this week we have six Cruise Wars topics going in the bowl. I'll give Jenny half of them. I'll keep half of them. And we'll tell you what the new topics are. Jenny, let them know what the, what the people... Let the... I'm so ready to go fight. Cruise Wars! All right, Jenny. Tell us what your new topics are. All right. The first one. Should the steward have to wait to clean your room? Should cruise lines charge corkage fees for wine that you bring on board? Should you save your towel animals? Mm -hmm. All right, here's my three new topics. Should you try and cram yourself into the elevator? Should cruise lines make it impossible for people to fall overboard? Should there be a burlesque or all-male review show on the cruise ship? What are you shaking your head about? <laughs> All right, guys. Those are the random topics. We're going to save those for the middle of the show. But first, we're going to start with a Cruise Wars classic. Cruise Wars classic? This comes all the way from Cruise Wars Season 1, Episode 1. I will leave a link above and in the description below. But we are going to argue, should you wear baseball hats in the MDR? Now, the last time we argued this topic, Jenny argued that yes, you should. And I argued, no, you shouldn't. And it was a good argument. We almost got divorced. No, we didn't. Hopefully it doesn't go as contentious this time. Make sure you check that out. So this time I will be arguing why you should wear hats in the MDR. You're going to argue why you should not wear hats in the MDR. Jenny, do you want to go first or second? Uh, I will go second. You will go second. Yeah. All right. Well, we one thing hasn't changed. We got the official Lalita Loca timer with one minute on the clock. Are you ready, Tony? I am arguing why you should wear hats in the MDR or why you should be allowed. Okay, yes, I am ready. All right, your time starts now. Of course you should wear a hat in the MDR. Uh, you paid for your cruise. You should not be restricted in what you can wear. Uh, you wearing a hat in the MDR does not hurt anybody. I say that the guidelines they put out for dress code in the MDR, it's just guidelines. Look, maybe I'm self-conscious. Maybe I only feel comfortable in a hat. Why do I have to take off my hat just because somebody five tables away has their nose so far up in the air that they can't eat because I'm wearing a baseball cap? You don't know me. You don't know my story. How dare you try to impose your snobbery on whatever's going on in my life? I paid my money. I just want to have a nice meal with my family in the MDR, and you are super uptight to say that I can't wear a hat. Again, touch your nose. You don't know me. You don't know why I'm wearing a hat. Why don't you just enjoy your own cruise vacation and mind your own business? That's it, Jenny. That's the right answer. I yield back my time. All right. Well, you didn't have any time left. That's right, folks. I argued that so well that the timer did not even buzz. Jenny, should we move <sighs> on to the next topic, or do you want to tell me why you should not wear a hat in the MDR? I mean, I want my time. Are you ready? Of course, I'm ready. One minute on the clock. Yeah, time starts now. Okay, so when you go into the dining room, yes, they give you some 
kind of formality of what you should wear and what you shouldn't wear. Now, people do complain sometimes that cruising is just not what it used to be. Well, guess what? That's because people are just wearing their ball caps into the dining room. It's ridiculous. Let's go back to classic times. You want tea time. When you go into the main dining room, it's supposed to feel like, wow, people are gonna serve me. I'm gonna get a good meal and I'm gonna look good. It's almost like you're going out on a date with your significant other. Listen, if I'm dressed up and I'm in the dining room and I look over to the next table, I don't wanna see somebody in shorts and a ball cap. Come on, put some time into what you are wearing to the main dining room. Let's go back to what cruising used to be, the formality of it. I don't really have to talk about anything else. Your time is up, Jenny. Your time is up. What? I, I, that has to be rebutted because that argument was... Oh my goodness, come on. Are you ready then? Yes. Go. Let's go back to classic times. Maybe we could go back to the Titanic. You know what happened on the Titanic? <sighs> it hit an iceberg and it sank because nobody could have a hat in the main dining room. It's ridiculous. Let's go back to 1862 where you had to wash your own dishes and they didn't even have any free books for you to read. How far back do we have to go? Do you want to go back to the time where on Carnival there's no guys burgers? Do you want to go back to the time on Royal Caribbean where there's no flow riders? Do you want to go back to the time on the Norwegian Bliss where there's no go-karts? Look, everybody wants their cake and eat it too. I want all the new stuff but I don't want anything to change. It's ridiculous. You don't see people sitting around listening to the string trio in a tuxedo. It's not like we're having high tea at Buckingham Palace. We're just trying to get some free shrimp cocktail in the main dining room. Uh, look, put on your ball gown, live your little fantasy world like your Jack and Rose on the Titanic, and let the, <laughs> let, let me wear my right, ball no, cap. That's it. Hashtag the Titanic sank. <sighs> We are not going to agree right now at all. Yeah, it's going to take you a while to realize Go to the I'm right. And where you're it's going to take you a while to realize. Look, what do you think? Should you wear a hat in the MDR or should you not? Should you, if you, if you think, look, hashtag Team Tony, please leave. We're giving out an award next week. It's going to be a surprise, but whoever has the most hashtags, hashtag Team Tony is the only right one, uh, will show you the special prize. So are you hashtag Team Tony or hashtag Team Jenny? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Hashtag Team Jenny. I want the prize. <laughs> Big snob. That was the classic from Cruise Wars Season 1, Episode 1, Should You Wear Hats in the Main Dining Room? Let us know what you think. Topic number two is going to come out of the bowl. All right. All right, Jen, I'll let you draw the topic out of the bowl. Okay. Hold on. You can't just go in without a mix. How dare you? This has got to be official, Jenny, and it's not official. This is like a Japanese right. Zen. We're going to be in season three soon. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay. Should the steward have to wait to clean your room? All right. So say you have morning cleaning time. You slap the do not disturb on there and you, you miss the time that they normally clean your room. Should they still have to clean your room? That's the question. Okay. All right, Jenny. Uh, zero. Or, sorry, there's no zero on these dice. You're going to roll the 20-sided <laughs> dice. One through ten. You are four them still having to clean your room. 11 through 20, you are against them still having to clean your room if you've pushed them past their time. Okay. So 10. So you are for them still needing to clean your room. Okay. One minute on the clock. Yeah, time starts now. Okay. I paid my money, so oh. I want my room cleaned. Guess what? If I want to sleep a little bit later and I hear your little card, in the mornings, I'm going to put the do not disturb so you do not come into my room. I could have overslept. I'm going to put the do not disturb 
on my door so you don't come in while I'm taking a shower or getting ready to go out for the day. So absolutely, go do the other rooms and then come on back to mine and get it cleaned. I paid for my room to be cleaned daily. You took away, some cruise lines have already taken away, like if they want to clean it twice, but then you only clean it once. Yeah, I want fresh towels in my room. So you're going to come back and you're going to clean my room. I'm done. Do not disturb, but that means that you need to come back and clean my room. Your time is up, Jenny. Okay. Your time is up. My goodness. All right, so I guess I will be telling... I don't even know how you can... I guess I'll be telling you why you should not get your room cleaned. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, I get it. You paid your money. Part of your money includes your room being cleaned. But how... These people work almost 24 hours a day. Yeah, that's it. Raise your hands because you don't care about people, Jenny. How dare you? If you put the do not disturb sign on your door and you sleep past your normal room straightening time, then don't expect the guy to come clean your room. It is just rude. Look, I know, I know they work for you, but what, what are you like some overlord that now everybody has to bend to your will? How about this? Pick your towels up off the floor, straighten the bed up yourself if you want to sleep in, and don't expect some guy who's already working 20 hours a day to come back on his break time and clean your room. Be a little more considerate on the front end and know that for an hour or two hours each day you have to get up and get out of your cabin so the guy can clean your room. It is ridiculous. <sighs> it is the highest form of snobbery. Your time is up. Hashtag don't work a dude 20 hours. <sighs> Do you even want to try to respond to my Absolutely, argument? Absolutely, I do. Well, fortunately, you have one minute on the clock to okay. do that. Are you ready? Absolutely. Your time starts now. Okay. So, when I paid my money to go <sighs> on that cruise, that helps pay that steward's salary to clean my room. Not to work all day. Uh, yeah, but you know what? They wouldn't be there if I didn't help pay their salary and help the cruise line pay their salary. It gives them something to do. Come on. They're there 24 hours a day. Their family's not there. So what else are they going to be doing? They should just go clean the other rooms and then come back and clean mine. I'm done. I don't even need the rest of my time. I think you should take the 23 seconds and apologize to people. Never. All right, look, we're not going to settle this here. We are not, because I paid my money to get my room cleaned. What do you think? If you put out the do not disturb and the guy doesn't get to clean your room, should they have to come back or should they not clean your room? Yeah. Leave a comment below. I mean, hashtag Team Jenny. I paid my money. My goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to say hashtag Team Tony because people ran to the comments after that argument. All right, everybody, we have one more topic tonight. All right, folks, we got one more topic tonight. Comes directly from the headlines, talking about whether or not room service should be free included in your cruise price, or should there be an additional charge? I'm gonna roll the 20-sided die. Uh, let's say one through 10, I am for it continuing to be free on some cruise lines. 11 through 20, I'm against it. Seven, I am for it continuing to be included. Are you ready, Jenny? Absolutely. Go. Of course, room service should continue to be included. Look, we're talking about Carnival in this instance. They currently give you included room service. You can pick up the phone. You can order as many sandwiches as you want. There's a few items, chicken wings you don't get for free. Skip the chicken wings, get you a bunch of grilled cheese with bacon, get you a bunch of peanut butter and jelly, and get it all delivered to your room for free, for an included price. You, I, I did pay my money, and my money included room service. How dare this cruise line try to take away what they've already given me? I've got cruises booked until 2020, all predicated on the idea that I get included room service. And now you're gonna take it away from me. It is ridiculous. It is disingenuous to the customer. It is not customer forward thinking. And uh, look, 
I don't use room service all the time, but I like the fact that it's there as an option. And if I want to order... Give it time. Hashtag. How weak. How dare you. <sighs> weak, weak, weak. Jenny, do you even have anything to say? I mean, absolutely. All right. Jenny is going to be arguing why uh, cruise lines should do away with included room service. Are you ready? I'm ready. One minute on the clock. Yeah. You said you're ready? Uh, yeah. 60 seconds. I'm ready. Just let me know. Stop the time, Tony. Your time starts now. Absolutely, they should charge you for room service. If you go to a fancy hotel and you order room service, you're paying for that service. Not only are you paying for that service, but you're tipping the person that's coming to your room to bring you the food that you ordered to your room. It's not like you're walking to the main dining room and getting food. You should absolutely have to pay for this service. It's like a specialty dining. You need to pay for it. And you know what? When it's free, you ever walk down those halls and like almost trip over all of the trays of the uneaten food that is sitting there? So this is the way for cruise lines to pull back on food waste and kind of hope to keep our fares in competitive areas. Absolutely they should charge for the room service. I mean, it's a minimal charge. Come on. Your time is up, Jenny. <sighs> time is up. All right, give me one more minute to talk about this, please. <laughs> Whatever, go. All right, so I, I heard you say a lot of things. Food waste. Look, have you ever been to the buffet? Have you ever seen the person order four entrees in the main dining room and then don't eat them just because they can? It's ridiculous. You got to fit. There, there's more waste uh, everywhere else other than room service. It's 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 an invalid argument. And and look, oh, you got to pay people to bring it. They're working anyways. It's not like they have a fleet of room service people just waiting around to bring you. <sighs> look, it's very simple. Room service is included in my price. It should continue to be included in my price. It is wrong to take it away. It is just that simple. Whether I use it or whether I don't use it, whether I eat the food or whether I waste the food, it doesn't matter. It does come down to the fact that I paid my money and in that money that I paid is included room service. It is wrong for you to take it away. Room service should be free. It's part of classic cruising. Oh, good. It's over. Hashtag free room service. All right, well... Uh, I'm right, but I don't think we're going to settle this here. We're not. Definitely not. What do you guys think? Should room service be an included or free option, or should cruise lines charge for it? Leave a comment below. And beyond that, who argued it better? Leave a hashtag Team Tony I mean, that's simple. if you want to be right. Leave a hashtag Team Jenny if you want to be wrong. All right, folks, that is the debate section of the show. We are going to move on to tell you how we actually feel about these topics. All right, Jenny, three topics tonight. The first one was a classic from Cruise Wars Episode 1, Season 1, and that was should you wear hats in the main dining room? What do you feel about hats in the main dining room? All right, so I absolutely should get a team, hashtag Team Jenny for this one because I don't really care. You know, it's like, yes, you paid your money, but it's your experience. And I don't really care what another person at another table is doing uh, or wearing. I do. I really do. Do you? If, if the cruise lines thought enough to put a guideline for what you should wear in the main dining room, you should just follow the rules and hold that guideline. If there's some extenuating circumstance, I'm willing to entertain that. But I think if people are expecting a certain thing, this is just like the room service thing. People are expecting included room service and they're mad when it's not like that. I think it's valid for people to expect a certain dining experience and be mad when it's not that. I say no ball caps. All right. I, the, I get I it. I say no ball caps. I get it for formal night. I get that. But when someone is walking in in like cargo shorts and a t-shirt or a polo, I mean, you know, maybe not a ball cap, but a lot of people do wear hats. Like, you have a cab hat. Regular hats are fine. It's ball caps that are specifically okay. prohibited in yeah. at least Carnival's dress code. I did make a video about that. I'll leave that in the uh, description and above. 
All right, topic number two came out of the bowl, and it's should the should they clean the room uh, if you've put them off of the cleaning time? Oh, my. I definitely better get a hashtag Team Jenny on this one because I totally argued the side that I don't agree with <laughs> at all. Um, you know, if, if you're set up to have your room cleaned at a certain time and you just put your do not disturb and... You know what? That means, I mean, I, I don't think they should have to come back for you. I don't think so either. So uh, if you if you said uh, some cruise lines will clean your room twice, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes some people will, you know, uh, traditionally just once. If you say, look, I'll get out of here in the morning so you can clean my room, and then you put the do not disturb sign on for the whole morning, I don't think you should expect your room to be clean. No, I agree. That's just me. And then the final topic is should there be free room service on the cruise ship uh, what do you think? Um, so I think if, hmm, this is a rough one, right? Because this is really, um, I feel if you have purchased your cruise already and you are expecting that service for free, they should agree to the agreement that you made when you left your deposit for that cruise. So if they want to do this in two years and, and change it, then that's I, I'm cool with that because you're you're already knowing what you're you're gonna receive in return for your fare. Um, is it a waste of food? I mean, sometimes I do walk down those hallways and there's food that is crazy. I get that. You know, and and the bottom line is this too. I I really don't think you should have to pay for room service. The food is not of greatest quality, so. I mean, if you're going to charge us, maybe like, maybe put your specialty dinings up 2 or $3, you know? Yeah. So for me, I'm with you. I don't know how you make this change without, um, you know, making people mad because like you said, if you book something with the idea that you were going to get included room service and then they change it, I think that's, that's crazy. I don't know how they can do it because they take bookings so far out. So I don't. I think it makes it hard for businesses to make changes in real time when you have that as a consideration. But I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair for them to change it after you've already booked your cruise. Um, the other thing is, though, I, I think I think room service. I think we just got to let it go as cruisers. I don't think there's much value there. Like you said, mm -hmm. the food's not good. They're just bringing you yucky food. I think that the money they spend on staff and on food could be better spent. And so I would rather pay for a higher quality food or not use room service. There's so many ways to not use room service. I know that there's people out there that use it and it's helpful, but most of the people we talked to said, I don't even use room service because the food's not good, because I don't wanna wait on the food when I could just go pick up food. So I think uh, I think you got, I don't think it's a hill that I, I wanna die on. I'm willing to let go of free room service to maybe get some better amenities on the cruise ship. But again, they've got to find a fair way to treat, you know, to deal with people that have already booked their cruise. That's what I think. Well, I mean, it also could be a, a perk for your loyalty programs. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, too. Right. But they got to step that food quality up. I think you're right. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, those were the topics for tonight's Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars! What, are wow. you Team Tony? Are you Team Jenny? How did you fall on these topics? If you are new here, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. If you got anything out of this video, please like the video and come on and follow us on our social media, uh, primarily at Facebook at the La Lita Loca Cruising Community. Join the Loca fam. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, just a quick shout out to our patrons. Uh, we have folks that are supporting the show on the monthly. There are $5 Cruise Warriors. Go over to www.patreon.com forward slash La Lita Loca if you want to support the show that way. Jenny, it's good to uh, be back in Cruise Wars mode. It is a little, little rusty, but I'm ready. I feel like I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. You might be. All right, guys. Well, we appreciate you dropping in again. My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye. Thank you.